Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup and Hustle. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Vidi and today we're doing a really, really exciting video. Today we're finally trying out the new Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have it in the shade 6 Neutral. I'm so excited to try it. If you're interested in finding out what this looks like on my skin, then please stay tuned. Before we get started, I would really, really appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button and also smash the like button. And now, without further ado, let's get on into trying this foundation out and jumping into the wear test. That I have on my face at the moment is just my skincare and then I obviously have my brows and my eyeshadow in place but I don't have anything else. Now typically I do wear primaries with all of my foundations especially now that we have to wear a mask all the time so I am going to be pairing this with a primer um, just to keep it more accurate. Um, so today we're going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip. I love this primer. It is one of the one of my go-to's and so I want to keep it with this. I'm just going to be using my fingers to apply this. So this is what the foundation looks like. And I have it in the shade number 6, Neutral. It retails for $65 here in Australia and it does, and it does come with a pump. Alright, so let's just dig in. I'm going to just take it to the back of my hand. Okay, so I think I have about two and a half pumps. It is a little bit runny and I'm going to be using a brush to apply that and then I'll be smoothing it out with my sponge. So it says blend outwards from the center. So let's start from the center. All right, the claims for this foundation are um, for your best healthy looking skin day every day. Skin looks more radiant by up to 285%, long lasting pollution defense, a medium coverage light as air foundation infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid, brightening rose complex, skin looks more beautiful instantly and over time for a healthy looking glow and a brighter, smoother looking complexion. Undetectable coverage improves the look of skin with each wear. Clinically proven results boosts hydration up to 166%. Skin looks plumper and smoother by 181%. Skin tone looks more even by up to 210%. Over 90% of users agree, minimizes the appearance of pores, reduces the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots, skin appears instantly brighter. And the directions are blend outwards from the center of your face for natural looking coverage. Okay. And it's made in Italy. It's got 12 months of shelf life and I think it's got, it's got uh, your standard 30 mils of product. Um, I just want to know how in the world are they getting these percentages like is it just a random number that they've made up or what is it I would really really love to find out okay I really really love the shade um, for neutral it is leaning a little bit towards more on the yellow side um, but that's what it looks like when it's first applied let me just turn down the brightness a little bit okay so that's just the brightness turned down a little bit and that's what it's looking like on this side I feel like it gives you a really beautiful healthy finish um, and the coverage is pretty much on the medium side I mean I do have a pretty big zit right here which I feel like it's done a decent job of covering up um, so in terms of that pore claim um, of course I don't have anything on this side so that's what my pores are looking like and then this side um, obviously with the foundation I feel like it's just covered up just a tiny bit um, Nothing groundbreaking. Let me reduce this just a bit more. So there we go. What do we think? I do like the brush application. It doesn't seem to be leaving any um, any brush strokes or anything like that. And I feel like I did get a pretty decent coverage just from the two and a half bumps that I used. I don't even think that I need to go over it with my sponge right after this one. I feel like it's done a pretty decent job. I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit. Okay, let's do the other side. And the brush that I'm using is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro in number four. All right, so that's what we have with like a full face. Okay, 
I feel like we do have a little bit more on this side, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit on this side. Obviously, my freckles, these ones are pretty stubborn. They always peek through, no matter what the foundation. Just taking about a half to a quarter of a pump, actually a quarter of a pump. I do like the packaging because it is a plastic tube. Um, I think it's just easier to travel with. So definitely a lot on the glowier side. Um, quite a bit, especially right now that it's summer here in Australia. I feel like this is something that I definitely would need to set. Um, but during winter, I think this is amazing. Um, this is exactly the finish that I would go for. So I am looking forward to using this in winter when it does hit. But I think it builds it beautifully. It looks really good. It looks very healthy on the skin. Um, and I think it's... It's definitely transferring onto my fingers, so um, it's not going to be mask proof, obviously. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly jump off camera, quickly do the rest of my face, um, bronzer, contour, etc. And then we'll come back and start the wear test. Currently, as we've applied the foundation, it is 12.36 in the afternoon. I'm going to try and at least get a minimum of 8 hours wear test. So let me just jump off and I'll come back with a finished face. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I've kept it really, really simple. I've just added a little bit of bronzer and blush. So I did cream and cream and powder. Um, so for the cream bronzer, I've used, well, for cream bronzer, I used my Huda Beauty Tentor in light. Um, and then I paired it up with the um, Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder um, in Sunny. And then for blush, I went in with one of the really old ones. I think I'm going to declutter this. But this is the NYC Blushable Cream Stick. This is in South, South Street Seashell or something like that. Um, it's really, really old. I'm going to declutter it. I think this company is even closed now. Um, and then for powder blush, I used my Maybelline Fit Me in number 35, which is Coral. Um, and then for highlight, I didn't go in with a cream highlight, but I did go in with a powder highlight and that was the Essence Highlighter in Sun Showers. I, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This is like amazing. Um, but that's what my face is looking like for lipstick. I used the Huda Beauty Interview. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I am going to leave my face as is. I'm not going to set it or anything like that. I really like how it's looking at the moment. Um, oh, I did set my face and for that I used the Essence All About Matte Powder. Um, this is just like a translucent powder and the reason for going in with this is because it's really, really thin. It's really lightweight. So as you can see, um, it's still looking dewy and glowy. So um, it's not going to take away from that foundation a lot. So that's the reason for this. That's the reason why I used it. Um, but yeah, we're going to start the wear test right now. It is currently um, almost 1 o'clock, so I think I was done by like 12.35 or something like that. Um, so we're going to go rest for the rest of the day um, with this face. I'm not going to touch up or anything like that in the middle, but I will come back in and check in a little bit in the middle of the day or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm hoping that this is a really good one. I really like the Hollywood Flawless filter, so... Fingers crossed for this one, but um, I will see you guys in a few minutes. Hey you guys, I'm actually in my backyard, so this is natural lighting, and this is what um, the foundation is looking like. Obviously, it's got um, a little bit of dew to it. Um, it looks really healthy, and the finish is actually really, really amazing. And the coverage as well is definitely something that I enjoy wearing. Um, I think it's really... It's a really nice foundation. Like, I love how my skin's looking at the moment. It looks really, really healthy. So, so far, so good. Um, like I said, it's one o'clock, so we're gonna wear this for the rest of the day, and I'll come back and check in with you guys in a little bit and let you know, let you know um, what it's looking like. But in terms of close-up, there we go. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. So, it is currently... 1021 at night. I believe we started the wear test at about 1230 something. I think that's when I first got done with the application and then by the time I was done with my makeup and stuff it was like one o'clock. Um, but anyway, I am obviously 
quite shiny now and obviously I've pulled my hair back as well because it was just driving me nuts my hair is like really oily and it's just it does this thing oh, anyway oh and um, I also did my nails so I'm not quite happy with this hand but this hand is okay okay so that's what I mean by uh, I got my nails done I mean I did them myself not quite liking this hand but like this hand is okay which is weird because like this is this is my dominant hand, which makes sense to do this. And then, anyway, moving on with the foundation. Um, obviously, I'm a lot shinier right now. Um, like, you know, I've got significant amount of uh, dew um, or like healthy glow of sorts. Um, the only thing I've done is I just reapplied my lipstick because obviously I ate um, and that wore off and stuff. But. Okay, um, I think it's held up pretty well. Like, it's not, it hasn't faded anywhere. Um, the only thing I will say, it's rubbed off a little bit around my nose area because I was wearing a mask. I did go out for a few minutes, well, not a few minutes, like, I, probably, like, an hour, hour and a half. Um, and I was wearing a mask at the time. So the only place where I feel like it's rubbed off a little bit is just on my nose area where the mask was touching. Um, but the chin is intact, um, and so are the sides of my face. Like, it hasn't faded over there at all. Um, so quite appreciate that. There's only one thing, other than the dew, which I was expecting. Um, I can see a tiny bit of sort of fading, or not fading. Let me just turn the brightness down. Okay, so just around here, um, I feel like it's breaking up a little bit. Like it's looking very textured just around this area. I hope it's being captured on camera. Like if you see just around the sides of my mouth, um, that is looking quite textured. Um, and it's not a problem area for me, but the fact that it's looking that textured, that is definitely a bit bothersome. Um, and obviously it's sort of like rubbed off around the edges just around my lip area and I think that's because I was wiping my mouth when I was like eating and stuff so that could be from that yeah so I think it like it's held up pretty well throughout the day like it started looking this oily I want to say just like three hours ago um for like about six to seven hours like it held up pretty pretty well like I cannot I cannot fault it at all um, my concealer has sort of disappeared throughout the day, which is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, you guys, like, I'm quite impressed. Like, I really like it. Let's just quickly, um, just do a little bit of a, what do we call it, blotting situation, and then reapply the powder and see how well, um, it sort of, how gracefully it sort of, um, comes together. I think I just gave it new life. And the shine is, oh wow, look at that. Where is my foundation, no foundation, where is my contour there? What the hell? Okay, let's see. Okay, wow. I am really, really impressed. I think this just sort of give it a few more hours of wear. I think it looks really, really good now. Um, I don't even think I need to powder. Hang on, let me just fix this situation because that's driving me nuts. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> My apologies, but it was just, it was driving me nuts. Um, but yeah, I feel like I just give it more life um, to this foundation like I think I can pull off a few more hours if I have to um, and I think like on a typical day like I would blot normally I would like it's summer so that goes without saying so to me this is normal and this is okay um, I actually really really like it I feel like it looks really pretty it just it gives you a really nice healthy glow um, and I feel like it, it gives you sort of like a youthful look um, which I really appreciate like I mean who doesn't want to look younger and you know healthier and like with bouncy and supple skin and I feel like this does that you know what I mean like I absolutely love it I feel like um 
if you're in the market for like a nice, rich, healthy, like good for your skin foundation, I think this is definitely something that you can give a go. Um, I think preparing your skin, like prepping your skin for whatever, um, you know, like if you're more on the dry side, like hydrating it and stuff. And like, this is great for people with dry skin because, you know, it is a hydrating formula. It's going to do great. And especially like it's got hyaluronic acid in it. So that's of course amazing. Um, and also for people that are a bit on the oilier side, like I am preparing your skin with like a mat mattifying primer. I think that could be one way to go. I will try this again with like a, like a mattifying primer just around my T-zone and then just like a normal healthy, um, my, basically my hydro grip for the rest of my face. Like I would love to give that a go and see if it, you know, what gives my, um, wear a little bit of a longevity or anything like that. Um, having said that though, it hasn't taken away the foundation. It didn't break down or anything like that other than this area. But again, you know, prepare, prepping the skin um, correctly can sort of fix that issue. So yeah, I, I highly rate it. I think, um, you know, if you can afford it, definitely give that a go. Um, if you just want to, if you're a fan and you want to try it, I would say get a sample size, see if it's something for you and then probably invest that money in it. But to me, I highly, highly rate it, and I would definitely have this in my daily rotation. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's it for my thoughts on this foundation. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, and uh, maintaining the, that social distance. But you guys, take care, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!